Okay, I'm not proud of that. Yeah, we're waiting. Hey! 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 To get surprise for you. What kind of surprise? I will not tell. She said we should not tell anybody, and she made us promise. <laughs> um, deliver the, the champagne that I ordered. Yes, thank you. <laughs> one of them. I forgot the one minute. Eh? <laughs> oh, 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 What is it? What is it? Oh, what, what is really going on? First, he brought me to a hotel according to the book 20,000 per night. And he just said it would be for three days, that's 60,000. And I overheard you ordering a bottle of champagne. What, what, what is really going on? I ordered a bottle of champagne to celebrate you. Ah, yes, things are so hard for my wife and I, yes. We could hardly feed well as family, yes. Even our poor dress would be saying it louder. But let me shock you a little more. After paying for the room, ordering the champagne, and paying the taxi that brought us to and from the airport to pick you, all I have left is enough money to pay transport for my family and I back to our house. So why did you uh, You are my only brother. My child sort of. Since we lost our parents when you were just there. Tell me, what have I not sacrificed for your future and your comfort? Everything, including my own comfort and that of my wife and my children. What then do you think I cannot do for you? Now that you, with a successful completion of your study in UK, the aspiring date of my association, our association with poverty, is closed by a simple state. But actually, okay. You see, no, I am very, very grateful. I've said that on the phone. I've said that over and over again. 
Thank you very, very much for everything you did for me. I am grateful. Of course you know I'm grateful. But I ask, why in a hotel? Why the champagne? Why not in your house? Uh, yeah, yeah. My family and I oh, no. that is one of the things I willingly put my family through for your good and for the good of the entire family. You see, my wife and my children understand. We decided not to spoil your mood as soon as you return to Nigeria by taking you to our house. As for the bottle of champagne that I ordered, I wish I could afford more expensive one. I wish I could afford a grandeur welcome party for you. After all, we went through both of us to have you. Uh, Adele, my brother returned to Nigeria with two master's degrees from a UK university. Ha! My brother, I wish I could afford more. I wish Papa and Mama were here. I wish I could do more than what I'm doing. <laughs> Am I? Thank you. I know you love me so much as a brother. And I love you so much too. I know if you have everything, you'll do even more. I know. But we cannot fall. I see them popping up to me. You cannot do it. I said I leave it. I don't care. I don't care where you live. You live in a rat hole, shit hole, in a pig. I don't care. My brother lives there with his family. My mother's ring kind of lives there. So I don't care. You can't do it here. Open up the champagne is not here. We'll do it in your house. Together with your family. We pray. Thank God for the level we are yeah, not, not, not in the hotel room, please. Come on, come on. Why would you be the one to check, to check uh, it? Please. Please. Come on. Let me check it. Please, my man, show nobody to disturb me at all. Come, come. Since we went to Vicky, you can have here enjoying the AC. Like, come out, let me lie down. Come out, let me lie down. Go out, let me lie down. I'll beat this girl. I'll beat this girl. I, I say, come out, let me lie down. You go out. out. Yes, go out. You too. If I like, now you go out. Too. No, no, no. You hey, stand there, y'all. Incoming! Ah! I go. I go. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> That's for you. And I'm more. I'm more to you. You know, it's full of fuel. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Now, children, come to the shop. again thanks for the fun field uh, outing yesterday my kids can't stop talking about it my wife can't stop praying for you but on my own side my brother i keep asking god to keep sharing his blessings well, that you do okay. Come on. there is no need for all of this we are family we are blood Whatever I'm doing for you, I'm doing for myself. I wish I could fly the whole family for summer holidays in Bahamas. Uh, when we are done from there, we move over to another country. That is what I want us to do. <laughs> but it's not late. Okay, Nadia. Uh, my dear, what I need is a holiday in the world of financially independent and stable men. Take me there. You would have done everything for my wife and I. Because if only you know the plans I have for you and your family. You won't even say this. This RDLA you're seeing will do even more. I've not started though. And this is still sim one. I will buy you a car. I will take you to a car stand. Point whichever car you want and that you will have. When that is done, We'll go to a house. Point or if it's a duplex or a bungalow, just any house of your choice. Just point it. You are joking. I will buy it down. You are joking. Yes, <laughs> joking. When that is done, I will open a motor spare parts business for you. Okay. I have spoken to some of my people abroad. 
We'll be shipping in motors per parts, uh, engine, or anyhow, from Germany, Japanese, uh, name it, to this country. You'll be the one selling it. Wholesale and you are joking. I know that I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I look like I'm joking. Were you joking when you sacrificed your, your, your happiness for, for my education? Mm. Were you joking when you sacrificed your comfort for me to be fine? Look at me today. I'm a graduate. Not just a graduate, a master degree holder from one of the best universities in the world. But at Chijoke, you made that happen with your sweat. So, whatever I'm telling you that I'm going to do for you, you don't need to doubt it because even I, you did so much for me now. You changed my life. So, you deserve even more. Okay? So, don't you ever say, or ask me if I'm joking when I'm telling you what I'll do for you. You're welcome. Where are the loan documents you signed with the man who lent you money with our family lands as collateral? Okay. All of it? Uh, the last huge uh, money you asked for to sponsor your master's thesis left him with no choice than to use the last remaining to, to borrow money as well. In fact, the only uh, family property that is left with us now is a past compound in the village. That's fine. Okay, there is no need to worry. You did what you were supposed to do as an elder brother that understood that tomorrow is pregnant. We're going to recover all the lands. Yeah, I will pay every cobble. Huh? I will recover everything. Okay? Thank you. We won't buy more. We'll add to the ones we, we have already. But how? This is it's a lot of money involved. <sighs> oh yes, it's a lot of money. But um, at the same time, I'm to make a lot of money as well. You see, when I finished with my education, some companies in England um, wanted to retain me. You know, but at the same time, some reputable oil companies back here was also on my case, you know. So, um, and comparing the both, though the difference is just the environment, but the, the uh, money involved is almost the same thing. So I said to myself, "Why well, stay back in the white man's country, working where I can come back to my own land to, you know, at the same time work and, you know, close to my my family as well." So yeah. I had to accept one of the offers here in Nigeria. Yeah. yeah. So um, the job starts next week. In the next four days, they will be sending me a huge sum of money. With that, we can um, start with um, settling with the lender. Yeah. And um, when that is done, go for um, getting you an accommodation first uh, and a car. Well, I you know, you get yourself a befitting house and a car. My family and I can wait. No, don't say that. You've waited enough. This is your time. Okay? You have done so well for me now, brother Chidio. You got those men, man. You need to be happy as well. Okay? So you first, before whatever I'm doing for myself. And besides, the job comes with uh, a house and an official car. So I won't be needing that. So you need it. So next, by weekend, we should go and uh, sort this out. So call whoever, call the man, tell him we are coming this weekend. Okay? I'm listening, I'm listening. Ah, this weekend? Ah, why the rush? <laughs> no, nah, it's okay. I only asked a question. Okay, okay, okay. I withdraw, I withdraw the question. We're not quarreling. Uh, we did not quarrel when you came to borrow the money from me, eh? With all those family lands as collateral. Are we going to quarrel now, eh? 
we cannot quarrel now that you want to return the money. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, uh, no, now I, I don't even have uh, need for those lands anymore. No, 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 no. Uh, no, no, no problem, no problem. Uh, you said this weekend, uh, no problem, okay. Uh, okay, I'm expecting you, eh? Uh, okay. Um, my regards to your brother Adele and of course your family. Ah, okay, no problem. Where you come? What is going on? Chijoke told everyone in the village that Adele, his younger brother, got into a big trouble shortly after he got to England, which got him a very long journey down. He told me this several times. He came to borrow money from me with their landed properties that. Uh, he was doing so to enable that they let pay the legal fees of a lawyer he hired, uh, a lawyer to, 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 to help him co convert his jail sentence to, to mere deportation. It was on that basis that I quickly agreed to lend him all the monies. I did without asking too many questions. My thinking was that such legal effort will fail, that even if it succeeds, a deported IDLA will be too devastated and desperate to pick his pieces uh, that I can easily manipulate him into more troubles here in the country. Hi, Chijoke. Chijoke must have heard about it. He knew my reputation before he came. Or at least people must have told him about me. Why is he suddenly talking about returning the money to me over the weekend? Ah. He told me that his brother uh, came back with so much money, so much money, and that they have enough to, to refund me. He, could it be that he lied to me from the beginning? Maybe in a bit to outsmart me and achieve a different result, a, a different outcome with me. No. No. Chijoke. Chijoke. How would you return the money to me and reclaim all those lands? No. Let it not be that you lied to me because if I find out that you lied to me, you will confront the devil in me. You will confront the devil in me. In fact, it, it would be better for you that you were never born or in fact, you never knew about me. Just to talk of having something to do with me. Gigi, okay. What's this? Eh? How can you be driving me from your place like that? Eh? Ah? For what? Ma mm -hmm. I am Udele, the bird that feeds on the dead and the land of the living and drinks water of the spirit and the land of the dead. I know the land of the living and the dead like the back of my palm. Udele. I say the way it is, no matter how bitter it is, to my Udele, clients Udele, and Udele, you know it Udele, you are going too far you are going too far eh? i know you very well i know your reputation there's no need for all this explanation to me i know your reputation and that is why over the years i have trusted you so much as to retain you as the only dibia the only dibia i consult in spiritual matters especially pertaining my business oh, which, other I, which other person do i go to and i pay you very well i'm your biggest client am i not I pay you very, very well. Because I know your worth. I know who you are and what you are. Eh? Now I need your services. I need your services. Mazenina, Udene will not help and harm you too. Help and, help and harm me. What exactly are you talking about? Like I said back in the shrine, the gods 
and the ancestors of Ami are angry with you right now. For using deceit and diabolism to take over people's land belonging to their descendants. For many years now, they are also mad at me for helping you to do so on each occasion. Can I ask you one question? What joy do you derive in taking over people's land? Uh, uh, Adding to the one you already have. Uh, then, uh, please, please, please. I have a business and a reputation to protect here. You have to do this my way, for goodness sake. Do it my way. Huh? If you insist, the gods and ancestors of our community rise against us as a result. What they will do and how they will do it. And when they will do it, it's not even revealed to me. But the signs are ominous. What really is it about you taking people's land? What is it all about? I'll ask you my own question. Have you ever been a slave before? No. Have you ever been denied anything? Your rights? In this, your village of Uzuitem, on account of uh, your ancestors not being uh, freeborns of this land. Now, have you ever heard nothing of something when uh, people who are not better than you in any way have that same thing? Even in quantities they don't even need. No, tell me. But it's not Adele and his brother who sold and bought your ancestors into slavery. And there has never been any time any member of your family who participated in humiliating you and your ancestors. Udele. Udele. Chijoke and Adele are guilty for being indigenous of Ami. They are also guilty. Yes. Guilty by belonging. Uh -huh. Guilty by belonging. Mazenyala. Uh -huh. Hunger and hate are consuming you quite deeply. Beware. Is there anything sacrifices cannot appease the gods and the ancestors of our land, son? There is anything? If the gods has passed his judges on anyone for an evil deed, Sacrifices can only delay their actions, but cannot prevent them totally from what is happening. Okay. Okay. Now, um, what manner of sacrifice do we need uh, to buy time uh, for you and I? And uh, how much time can we buy? I don't know. You have to come back by sunset on Saturday. Then I will have the answers you seek. Saturday afternoon, Chujok and his brother are coming for their land. Saturday afternoon. How can I? And there is nothing I can see now before the time I gave you. You will hear from me by sunset on Saturday. Udele. Udele. to 11 different powerful DBS after I left to the next, to the next place and uh, all, all of them said the same thing to me. What can this happen? I succeeded and took lands away from more powerful individuals and families and I mean, and it's with ordinary Chijoke and his foul living brother that I will now foil. How? 
Why? Okay. They will get the lands. They will get them back. But I swear with my life that I will never give up until I have the old lands back. I will go to the ends of the earth. Even heaven, yes, to get them back. Unfortunately, when that will happen, Chijoka and Adele, there will be no male in your family. Hmm. Hello? Ah, uh, Chidogo. Uh, sorry, I woke you up. Listen to me. Prepare to come back to Nigeria within the next few weeks. Yes, you are coming to get married. It is somebody you knew very, very well. Yes. His name is Adele Ibope. Yes. Hey, listen. Don't even try to argue with me on this. In fact, don't even think of disobeying me. You have to do exactly what I'm telling you. Chidogo. You remember your sister picked a quarrel with me over an issue like this four years ago. Where is she now? Chidogo. Chidogo. Wait, you want to join her six feet below? Then keep quiet and do exactly what I have told you to do. Prepare and come back to this country. Good night. Oh, Chijoke, yes, in fact, I'm very much impressed. Eh? You, you, you and your brother, you've done very well. You know? like raising this huge amount of money, these hard times to repay a loan, eh? it's not easy. This Please just time, sign uh, the termination documents. Let's get out of here. There's no time. Yeah. We're not here for this sermon now. Yeah, we are right, because he has already wasted so much time trying to recount the money. Uh -uh. But now come to me now. Is it going to take you two years to, to, to count the money? I have to take my time, you know, because it's business. You understand? Money is involved. Real money is money business. So you have to do it properly. Sure, that is what I looked at the time. Check if it's original or fully stamped. It is original. That's good. And that ends my, my loan deal. Thank you, Master. Uh, 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 Adel, you did not ask me about you, though. How dare you? Are you mad? Are you, are, 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 are you mad? Please stop this. Are, are, are you stupid? Please don't get out of this. Can this fool you? Please, let's get out of this. No, 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 
My suspicions are right. <laughs> He's still very mad. In fact, you would tear her apart if he ever set his eyes on her. Unless, unless I do something fast, you know, prepare the grounds before the event you uh, better. It's time to meet with you again. I have to see you there. Is, 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 is he mad? What kind of what kind of stupid question was that? Please leave me. Leave me to express my anger. Yes. Why would he ask me of of of, of, of Chidog? Is he trying to mock me? Satan. That's all they did to me. It's asking me of Chidok. Adele, calm down. My in there must have been dying of anger that after everything, you are now the highest UK university trained engineer. While Chidok, his daughter ended up as a prostitute in Italy instead of in American University that her father boasted so much about way back then. What people say and think about us does not really determine what we will be in life. God and destiny have the final say in such things. Forget about the uh, Mazenya and his daughter Chidugo. Let's talk more important things. Could you know if thinking about that alone? This is a nightmare to me. Those people murdered my reputation, my everything. Not be that she, she, uh, no, uh, she won't even think of it. <laughs> she does not think of it.
Chidiogo is a thief. Oh huh? my god. She inherited the stealing gene from her useless mother. And from the way she stole this fowl, this is clearly not her first time. She is clearly a professional thief. Really. Huh? And I I I how in God's name did I not know about this before now? How how Oh no! Amuche's compound. Amuche led Chief Okafor's widow. Papa, I'm sorry. Hey. Papa, please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. No, no. How dare you steal again? Forgive you. Forgive you. Did I not want you never to step your feet out of this compound this morning when I was going to my. Yes, you did. Sorry, sorry. Let me ask you. Did he do it with you? <laughs> Who dare you? If you try lying to me, or, or even pretending not to know what I'm talking about, I will kill your life now. What's the matter with you? Eh? Did I dare let have sex with you? I dare not look at you. What are you talking about? If, 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 I don't know who you are so much. Did they have sex with you? Did he? Did they not have sex with you? Yeah, 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 yes. Yes, Papa. How many times did he do it? I mean, how long has this been going on? Between you and him? Papa. We did it just once, <laughs> yes, and this is the first time I'm doing it with another man other than you. Hey, just... <laughs> What's up, please? It's your turn. The only way I can cover this crime of yours, of course, if I report you to the elders, you know what will happen to you. The youth will strip you naked. Hang this fall around your neck and drag you around the village. Is that what you want? No, 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 Papa. No, okay. No. Please. The only way I can cover this is for you to do exactly what I want you to do. Will you do it? Yes, Papa. I promise I'll do anything. Anything you ask me to do, I'll do it. I swear to God. Please. Come with me. Come. Come. Baby. <laughs> I hope there's no problem. No, no problem. Um, when I got home, my father was not around. So an idea came to me. I said it to myself. Idea? Mm -hmm. what, what could that be? <laughs> I enjoyed what we did. So you want us to do it again? No, I came so we can celebrate our love and your acceptance of me, despite... Look, Chidom, I did not fall in love with you because you were Beijing. I fell in love with you because I found you worthy. Because you're beautiful and you have good attitude. Thank you. That's what's so full of you. And that's why I decided to use my savings to get you this foul. Foul? Yes. Ah. What is it? You don't like it. 
Oh, no, I, of course, I, I like it. It's just that I'm wondering why you killed it and put it inside a, a nylon. Oh, that's, um, well, um, I did that, you know, my father is not aware that I was coming to this place. So I had to, you know, buy the fowl and put it in this bag so that even if he sees me, you know, he won't take the fowl away from me. Because if he does that, he, I will be the saddest person on earth today. So to avoid that, I had to, you know, put it well so that even if he sees me, he won't even know what's inside the bag and he won't take it away from me. Okay, yes. I, I understand now. <laughs> that is very thoughtful of you. <laughs> let's, let's go inside. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to cook it yourself. Yes, cook it yourself. I have some. Take Take this one. Use it to get the ingredients you don't have at home. Prepare it. Then, once you're done with it, call me. Uh, I'll tell you where to meet me up. Okay? And so, I know you know how to cook very well. Of course, I okay? can. So, all right. Now. <laughs> Thank you. Take care of yourself, eh? Bye. Bye. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. <laughs> what are you doing in the village? Well, um, our uncles informed me that I must come for a meeting, a family meeting that is mandatory. I so sorry I didn't call you before coming, but that's how it is. Here I am. Welcome. <laughs> how are you? I'm fine, as you can see. You are fine indeed. You do not look like someone who went through the stress of. Uh, you know, intensive uh, preparation for the GC exam. Ah, finished. don't say that too. <laughs> if you had seen me two weeks ago, my neck was longer than that of the Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that now I'm, I'm trying to add back. No, it's good. You really do go back. Let's go inside. I have got you some bread and some other things. Eh? Uh, <laughs> the thing is that I'm, I'm rushing out to somewhere now. Rushing where? I think. What do you mean rushing out? I mean, we, we, we barely have seen ourselves this, this year and now I'm here, you want to rush out. That's, the thing is... The plate? Mm. What about it? Huh? Chicken pepper soup? Mm. What, 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 is, what, what is this? Eh, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's chicken. Pepper soup. soup. Uh huh. Uh, um, the thing I'm going to Nkwo, Nkwo Market. You see, when I finished my GC, I was thinking of a business to be doing because I don't have to stay idle. So then I started chicken pepper soup business, uh, garnished uh, chicken pepper soup. Ideally. So now my, my customers are waiting for me to... This is really good. Mm -hmm. You know, idleness is not good at all. Exactly. So you have now customers waiting for you in Unko? I, I wouldn't even get to Unko, the, the chicken will finish. Uh -huh. hey. Let me put some. No, 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 this, this is where I did it. I know you love me enough to forget about the capital and the um, profit, even if I ask for you to give it all. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, no, now. Uh? <laughs> it is a bad way of starting a business, a running business as well. Huh? See, I mean, you should always think about the profit and continuity always. Huh? I'm proud of you. <laughs> Run along if that's the case. Huh? I'm proud of you too. I'll be waiting for you. Before I go for the meeting, please come back before I go for the sure, meeting. Sure, sure. Uh, There's a small girl inside the court. Maybe you can use the super. Which soup? My favorite. Oh, yeah, oh, you should. <laughs> I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> I 
Hey! 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 anything good in this life. I did not steal. I have never stolen. They stripped me naked for what I did not do. I'm telling you the truth. I did not. I know I lied to you, but I did not steal. I did not steal. Chinogu brought the chicken to me. I didn't do it. Let's go home. I didn't do it. Let us go home. No problem. No problem. You can't keep playing whatever game you think you're playing with Adele. He's taking it too hard on himself and it's killing him. Auntie Enuma, please stop. Stop already. Adele is a thief. He stole the fowl. Simple. I don't believe you. Adele is not a thief. I know him very well and I know you too. Do not forget, I moved in with my late aunt. Who was your late uncle's wife as a child when I lost my parents? I grew up in your extended family. And so I know you too well, everything about you, including your stealing habits. Mm. Adele is not lying. I believe him when he said that he's being set up. He's not lying. So what are you trying to say, Auntie? That I set up Adele, is that what you're trying oh, to yes. say? yes, you did. And you have to stop now. Do you hear me? You have to go to the elders and confess. Adele is not a thief, you are. Until you call me a thief. Yes, you If I am a thief, then what are you? You baby factory. You cheap prostitute. What? Yes. You called me what? I called you a prostitute. In fact, you are an, an obongiti. Oh, Joro, Joro, that's what you are. Do you even know the father of your three children? Do you? Which of your countless but some customers is their father. Answer, see? Rubbish. Listen, listen. It is because you are my auntie. If not, by the time I put my two fingers into your eyes, you will know why they call me Chidioko. Rubbish. Come on, get out. Let me go and fetch water. Nonsense. You're the fear thing. Chidioko. Auntie Ele attempted suicide last night because of your lies. And he threatened to do it again if his name is not cleared. How would you feel if he killed himself because of you? Have you no conscience? You are screaming to the wind, Ati Enuma. Chidioga! Chidioga! Chidioga, you don't have human conscience, Chidioga! Ah. What, kind of, what kind of a human being is this? What is it? Why are you crying? <laughs> she told Adele and I that you were going to meet Chidioga to talk to her. What happened? <laughs> okay. Chidiogo tore me apart today with words. Eh? There is no derogatory name that she did not call me today. What? Okay. Chidiogo, open her mouth and call me. Me and you, my prostitute. What? 
it's not just that. She said that her three beautiful children are products of my shame. How dare she? How dare she, Dogo? Okay. I, I, I will deal with her. Okay. This is getting too much. This is getting too much because this is the third time in a month, this month, that people from this village are using the status of our marriage to mock me and question the paternity of my three beautiful children. How could they? Why? Why? When they know the truth, they know the wicked reason why we are not legally married. Why? How could they? Calm down, Calm down. Calm down. What people say about us doesn't matter to you. You are not a prostitute. You are the love of my life. The mother of my children. That is what should matter to you. I love you so much, that you know. I love you. I love you too. Good. That's what I want to hear. Okay. Uh, where is Adele? Adele is uh, in the house. I, I just stepped out to go get him a, a pain relief because ah. he has been complaining of general body uh, hey. so, uh, uh, do, do, and Okay, please him. just uh, hold on. on. Uh, uh, please do, Gary. I'm coming. I'm sorry now. Adele, please. Adele, please listen to me. I'm sorry. Can you, can you, can you shut up and tell me why you did it? He forced me! Who forced you? He blackmailed me. Oh, come on, blackmail and forcing are the same thing. Who forced you? Adele, what he threatened me with was beyond humiliating for a maiden like me. The only thing worse than that was death. Please. He left me no other choice than to betray you. I'm sorry. I'm so ashamed of myself. Oh, can you stop talking about being ashamed? Because you have no idea what being ashamed looks like. Do you know how you humiliated me? I begged you. I begged you, Chidor, to, to, to say the truth in front of the elders. But you refused. You watched them humiliate me. You watched them disgrace me around the village. Now everyone calls me a thief. Do you know what that means? You're telling me sorry. We will, we will sorry. Take away, take away the shame you 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 cost me. I said he blackmailed me. I tell you, I did not do this out of hate for you. The person that blackmailed you is he not a human? He is human. Who is he? He's the same person that has been raping you since you were 12. Your father. Right? I didn't, you, you didn't hear anything from me. I didn't say anything. Just, you just tell them that I'm innocent. I need to get my sanity back. I need to get my reputation back. I promise to protect you. No, I didn't. You can't protect me. This is beyond you. I'm sorry. You don't care about me. I did listen. This is the last time you are going to accost me on this issue. If you ever come close again, if you ever mention this, I promise you, I will commit suicide. Yes. And I mean every bit of my word. I know. Way before you accosted her on the way to the stream, I already believed you because you told me the truth. You were falsely 
labeled a thief and humiliated. I believed you. I even loved you more. That's why my wife and I vow never to allow what happened to you when you told me. In keeping that vow, I liquidated my business, put off formalizing the marriage with my wife, subjected my children to emotional trauma of poverty to send you to UK to study. Today you are back again, respected. The standing ovation you got from a kinsman in Ami said it all. They lost, you won. It's true. You're right. All I did was to love Chidogo. A young man's innocence for, for, for immediate. She and the father turned it to hell for me. I know. After a prophet could you punish them? Give the, the details of the whole fiasco in their sight to us a few weeks before you traveled to UK. It took me time to deal with the anger I have at them. In fact, going to the same devil to borrow money for your sake was the last resort for me. After everyone else in the village, including our own kinsmen, refused to lend me money for you to travel. This is something that I died a million times over. That is why I am the happiest man today. We've recovered our lands. You were respected again. Our parents will be happy in their graves. I'm so proud of you, brother. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Thank you, my brother. Yes, the will. They will also be very proud of you. You gave up your comfort for my education. That alone is everything. Thank you. God bless you. What an irony. The devil who conspired with a thief of his daughter <laughs> to destroy you was the one who provided the money with which you got to get the needed quality education to become who you are today. What an irony. <laughs> Such is life. I'm glad that we've gotten, um, gotten um, the documents back. That reminds me, you left it inside the car. Yes. Oh, okay. Where's the material? Adiele Chijoke, oh spirit of the rim, move now. Kidnap their soul and bring them into this effigies.
You are the only. You will eat Chijoki as one eats his worst enemy. You will never help him. You will lie against him. You will humiliate and deprive him joy. You watch him and his family dying miserably without doing anything. And you, Chijoke, you will not know freedom from poverty and humiliation till you die. People will listen to your complaints and pity you, but none of them will help you till you die. Same with your wife and children. It is done. If you don't want their suffering to end forever, throw it in the river. And if you decide to keep it, that means you can free them by any time of your choosing, by untying them. And your biological daughter can do the same. Let them suffer and die forever. Honestly, I have never felt bad doing a job like this as I feel right now. They are innocent, Mazinina. They do not deserve this at all. You are the one that wronged them by what you forced your daughter to do to Adele some years back. You should be the one apologizing to them and not. Udere, please. I owe them no apology whatsoever. No apologies whatsoever. Ha! You have said this over and over since I came to your shrine on Saturday evening. And I've told you the same thing. I've responded the same way. I don't owe them no apologies. Eh? You don't know what these people did to me? I then had sex with my daughter and nearly ruined the business charm you prepared for me with so much money. So much money. Eh? I had to do something fast to stop Judah and himself. Otherwise, it would have been a very big problem. And because of what we did to him, an uncle spirit has followed Judah my daughter all these years. Eh? Making her to fail in every useful undertaking she ever laid her hands on. Now she ended up as a prostitute in Ajegule. Ajegule, my own daughter. Ha! To stop this shame, I had to send her to Italy to continue with her ignoble profession. Even though she had been sending me money, yeah, so much money from Italy, but uh, uh, that does not do uh, uh, the trap from the father. She is still a prostitute. Eh? Sending me, making money and sending to me from her shame. Eh? You know how I feel about that? Do you? The lie I told that she is in America studying was busted by somebody who saw her in Italy. Now everybody in Army knows that she is in Italy making money and sending to me for my shame. Now to go to Nimego. Eh? And you, you expect me to be happy with that? Look at that. You know how miserable that makes me feel? Do you? Eh? And who is to blame for it? Adele and his brother. Or you and Chidogo. Are they your late wife, whom Chidogo inherited the stealing gene from? I did not care about that. I don't. Their paths crossed mine. Therefore, I do not regret what I forced Chidogo to do to Adele in those days. Yes. And I do. I, in fact, what I'm doing now to them, I do not regret. And I will never regret. He deserved it. Yeah? As for uh, uh, Chijoke, he committed a grave crime against me. Very great offense. He lied to me to obtain a uh, loan from me. He told me he wanted to use it to free his brother from, from jail in, 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 in Europe. Not knowing that he, he, he used it to, to, to sponsor him in his education. Now he has come back with so much money. And they have taken all the lands away from me. That is an unforgivable sin to me. Therefore, he and Adele must pay dearly for it. All right. 
All right. Just remember the sacrifice I said we must carry out within the next seven days. Ah! Ah! I'm happy. I like it. <laughs> I like it very well. Uh, I think it's good. I think so, this is it not too large for me and my family. <laughs> that's the idea. I need a place you people will be comfortable. <laughs> Thank so you. Very soon, I'll put up a very comfortable mansion for you and your family alone. Thank you. No neighbor, no <laughs> nobody. Just you and your family. I am Isn't happy. It? I am happy. <laughs> Driver. What is it? Adele, what's your okay? Huh? So, is your plan to kill me? What is it? Huh? Is your plan to kill me? No, no. Hey! Adele, what is this? Come here. What? What is this? Is your plan to kill me? What is your problem? What is it? What is your problem? Come here. Adele, you want to kill me? No! How can you say that?
Are you okay? Oh, okay. Hey. Okay. What happened to you? You had an accident? What about Adele? Is, is he alright? I don't know where Adele is. What are you saying? Adele was here to pick you to go show you the flat he wants to get for us. How come you you, 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 you you came back this soil and you're telling me you don't know where he is? You can don't tell me that he died in the motor accident. There was no accident. What? Then you must have must have been attacked by some devilish robbers. What then happened? Why are you like this? Okay. Eh? Uh huh. Raised his hands on me and signed me up this way. No. Uh, what? He started accusing me of attacking him with witchcraft. Before he knew it, he descended on me. But for the driver's intervention, he would have killed Minkem. My own Adele, whom I sacrificed everything for, wrongly accused me. Cursed me, called me unprintable names, physically ab 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 abused me, assaulted me, abandoned me in the middle of nowhere. Okay. My own ideally said that I am his worst enemy. He looked me in the face and said that again. How? No. How? Okay, no. Adele didn't do this to you. And he didn't say all this you're saying now. Please go and get me what I do first. No, this must be a dream. It's not dream. This must be a dream. Someone should wake me up. No, come, 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 what are you saying? Go and put water for me to take my bath. I don't want to, to look like this and my children comes to beat me up like this. Hi! Don't tell them the true story of what happened to you. I'm begging you. Okay. Go and get me okay. water. It's an order. I'm ordering you. No, I did it. No, I did it. did not do this. No, Kim, did you say I did it? Did this thing to you? See it for yourself, sir. The room is still open because the housekeepers are still working on it for other guests to come in. I'll see you. Hey! Okay. It's true. Can okay, they are not lying? Adele has checked out of this room! Oh my god. Who's doing this? What has taken over my brother? The devil! Nkem is the devil and it must be the chief of all devils that took over him. Eh? How can Adele? Adele who dots over I and my children? Adele who more or less worships you, Nkem? Nkem, he sings your praises in gratitude at all times. Adele, Adele loves you with almost an infant's innocence. How can he all of a sudden... Kim is not okay. How can it be okay when I... Okay. This is a family affair. We are with an outsider. Comfort yourself, please. Okay? I'm, I'm sorry. But... It's but... not again. Ah. It's not again. Thank you. Uh, Sir. You, you, you said that uh, mm -hmm. he dropped uh, a note for me at the reception, which I refused to touch unless 
I confirm first that he has left the hotel, according to you people. Uh, are you with it? Yes, sir. With it. Can I see it? Hey, hey, oh God, hey, where the my dear? Hey, Jim, hey, my prophet just confirmed to me that you made it that horrible attempt on my life that you made today because you are jealous of my success and have planned it for months now. Mm -hmm. He said that I should quickly leave this hotel and go somewhere. You cannot physically meet me for the next seven days. I will try again and this time I will not survive it. Hey. I also said that your main aim of wanting me dead was for you to take all our family land. How pity can you be a for just Few pieces of farmlands. You want to invest in your only brother. After everything, I promise to do for you. I have no interest in making trouble with you for this. But I am going to be that with this. You have made yourselves and all members of the family man most important. Whatever link we have is severe and over. Do not ever come in near me for all the value you think of your life. As for the food plants, I'll get back to you when I make up my mind. How can I do that? No number one in it. Why? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hey, you can go down, you can go down, you can go down, you go down, you can go down, you can go down, you can go down, you you can go you Oh, I did everything for you. I sacrificed all for you. God has answered all our prayers. Man and love Who did I offend to deserve this? God, I am asking you, who did I offend? Eh? Who is doing this to me? Who is doing this because I'm telling you, please leave me alone. Please leave me alone. Leave me alone. You can please pull yourself together. Remember, we're on the road. I don't care. I don't care where we are. I don't want to know what anyone will say of me. My God let this thing to happen this way by letting the devil wage this type of war against me and my family and succeeding. Don't forbid. You can, the devil has not succeeded and he will not succeed. Please remember what the prophets said. What the prophets, the first, second, and third the prophets we, we have visited today said meant nothing to me. They didn't solve the problem. I still can find my brother and reach him. None of them told us where he is. None of them told us what is the problem and who is behind all this. They kept the saying the usual thing about enemies. Who is the enemy? Where? How? But what is the enemy? Who is that enemy? Where is the enemy? Tell me how. Tell me who is that enemy? Consume, calm down now. Have you forgotten that the prophet said we should fast and pray for 14 days? That after that, God will come to our aid. God doesn't. God forbids. You can God forbid. See? God can never abandon us in this situation. He can't. My darling, where is your faith? Eh? You have to hold on to your faith. See, it's not like I feel any better than you do. But I'm just trying to cling to my faith. Jiranya, 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 Jiran
Bad man. <laughs> I miss you too. Mm -hmm. Oh, Papa, stop it. You like bad things. <laughs> I miss you so much. You look so good. Oh, oh thank you. Stop it. It's too early to say that. Eke, Ori, Afo, Mpo. Eke, Ori, Afo, Mpo. Eke, Ori, Afo, Mpo. Very rich now. Very, very rich. Wow. And within the next one year, you become very, very well. That is what the DBI consultant told me. He 
see he now works as an expatriate staff in a multinational company. Really? You need that the car he's using, that very car you saw there. Yes. It's an official car. The house he's staying, he's living in, is an official house. So everything about him now is official. <laughs> wow. That is it. This is interesting. Very, very. Oh, Papa, please. Um, I, I want to beg you. I don't know how you're going to make it possible, but please. I want to become Mrs. Adjele. I want to become his wife. I, I want him to get married to me. Please, Papa, you have to help me. See, I, 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 I will stop prostitution once I get married to him. No other man will see my nakedness again. Except me. Papa, Papa, I, I thought... Hey, 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 there's no thought. Eh? I did thought to Eba. Eh? And I thought to Ata. I did thought to here. Eh? I had this virgin dew. And I'm going to enjoy it till I die. Yes. Papa, so, you, you, you need a wife. So, you know me too well not to argue with me over this. Yeah? In fact, go, 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 go to the room and wait for me. Let us, uh, mm? well, I miss this thing so much. That's right, eh? Come on. I'm menstruating. You're yeah, menstruating, eh? Yes. You are menstruating. <laughs> okay. It has stopped flowing and it will not flow again till tomorrow. So, go ahead and clean up and wait for me in the room. No, Papa! Don't keep me waiting! I'm in the room. Won't you allow me rest for some, for some time? Allow me rest! Than we expected. Is you? Yes. Look at my hand. Yeah. He proposed to me. So fast? So fast, Papa. Hmm. I am getting married to Adele. I am going to be Mrs. Adele. Hmm. Hmm. Not just that, Papa. He was so thrilled that he had to take a quick loan from his company just to get me this. Guy. Is that so? Yes. Hey! Yes, Uncle. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, so. Yes, this is your daughter's car. Hey! <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. This is hey! Nah. Hey, wait. Yes, sir. Hey, wait. Hey, wait. Mm. Hey. Yes. Hey, come, 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 come. Hey, let's go inside. Hey, come, oh. Nas. Come and give me all the details. You want the other one? Mm. Just tell me what. <laughs> ah, it, 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 he swallowed all the lies I fed him, hook, line, and sinker. Zoo. Yes. He believed that I am not a natural thief. Yes. He believed that it was our landlord's son in Umwaya that raped and disveged him. He believed that I have never slept with another man ever since he had sex with me. <laughs> so, yeah? Wait, what is this? Yeah? What is that? Yeah? What is that? I'm one way in there now, to and fro. That gamma, but I. Yeah? Now, Babo, you need me. Hey, wait, wait. This is your womanhood that entertains traffic. Yeah? 
manhood traffic, just like a busy potacot road, yeah? You know, cars on the on the, on the traffic. Hey! Yeah? What is this? This is your womanhood that has attracted more visitors than the Onichame market. Yeah, when we were in, you were in Italy. Yeah? No. Enough, Papa! Enough! Stop it! Must you remind me of my shame all the time? Must you? Even in this moment of joy and hope for me? Listen. I will not take this. If you repeat this next time, I will call your bluff and go back to Italy immediately. Yes. And I will tell the whole world what you have been doing. I will expose you. I don't care what you do to me later. So don't you even try to threaten me. Ah, oh, look good. Hey. Ah, baby. Tia, Adam. You did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I will never use such derogatory words on you again. Hmm? Never. Better. Go back to your seat. Was I going back? Let me stay here now. Hey, hey. Oh, don't touch me like that. Yeah. <laughs> that uh, okay. Do you know that your charm really works? I am like magic. Yes. Immediately he saw me. His anger was raging like a wildfire, waiting to devour me. Yes. But trust me now. Immediately I touched him. Hmm. <laughs> He became more or less like a baby in my arms. Hmm. So. The rest became like a well choreographed drama series that I was the lead actor and the director. <laughs> Am I surprised? <laughs> I cannot be surprised. Yes, I'm not surprised. Listen, let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. hmm? Your father worked so hard on this. So very hard. I planned this very, very well. Leaving no stone on top. Mm. <laughs> I put everything into constitution. In fact, I decided and took further steps forward. When the DPS told me that I Dele is going to be the richest man in America. Mm -hmm. I went out of my way to do everything possible because it is not just about their lands and their family compound. No, I will get all those ones back. I also want all his wealth, all his riches, everything is going to acquire in this world. I want all of them. They must come to me. Uh, but, Papa, you don't have a son. Huh? So who are you doing all this for? <gasps> for you and your girls. Uh -huh. Listen, you are not going to give him a marriage child. No. If you mistakenly give him one, give it to a marriage child while you are in his house, eh? you will poison that one to death moments after he is born. That is it. Yes, because then after your wedding, I will get married. I'll bring in a new wife and I'll have male children. Yeah? So at the end of the day, all these things, all this wealth, everything he owns shall be shared 50-50 between your daughters and my sons, right? your stepbrothers, immediately after he dies. What? Do you want to kill him too? Of course, he has to die for you to inherit all those things. I'll bring them to me. You have to inherit all his wealth. If he's alive, how can you inherit them? He has to die. When he dies, you inherit them and bring them home. Eh? But that will be after he has amassed so much wealth, eh? enough wealth, destroyed his brother's family, 
all of them, wiped them out completely. And of course, sold everything they have his family company, all the lands, everything they have to me. Yeah? Then you die. Papa, that's evil. That's vile. Why would you do that? Why? I will do that and even more. And you are going to help me achieve everything I think. Hmm? And if I say no? You ever make up your mind to stab the devil in the face and make sure you are not going to blink first. And in this situation, Chidiogo, I am the devil. Do not dare me. Welcome, man. Welcome. You're welcome. Hey, you're welcome. Thank you. 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 Thank Despite the short notice, I'm on the beach. No, Branka, I'm on the beach. No, children of these days don't accept that. Too. Mm -hmm. But coming from somebody like you that had traveled wide and acquired the best of education, mm -hmm. is we are having hope that our tradition will not die. Bah, the true son of the soil, are not meant to flop. Yeah, no matter my level of education, once someone that calls, you must answer. I didn't So coming to that, um, I said whatever we need, I will have to because I'm not the kind of I'm a hotter. I'm trying to make reference to the last election. I couldn't attend because I was very busy. Yeah, but I heard everything that happened. Yeah. I heard it went so well, and yeah. the position was given to the right person. <laughs> oh, <yeah, right. laughs> Congrats, eh? yeah. Congrats. Thank you very much, my dear. Thank you. I was only here when I was told that you summoned me. You said I should come. That is a matter of life and death. If I don't come, I will still be here. That is a matter of life and death. If I don't come as fast as possible, that something terrible will happen. Uh, that is true, but uh, we are not the ones that uh, actually summoned you. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So who, who summoned me? I did. Sorry, I stepped out to meet myself. Adele. Adele, your action of recent left me no other choice than to get our kinsmen involved. Thank goodness that you are here. Let us stop. <clears throat> you are still my brother, my beloved brother. That's why I asked them to come and sit. Let's settle our difference once and for all. It's okay. It's okay now. It's okay. 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 It's Oh, brother, my dear, my brother picked a gun and nearly shot me dead simply because I called our kinsman to help me talk to him to end whatever that is going on between us. He threatened everyone, including the elders of the extended family. Okay. You need to see how my brother looked like. He looked like an angry demon all the while he was doing it. 
Hey. He beat me, swore at me with so much anger and hate written all over him. What is going on? <laughs> My husband. In as much as I don't know what is going on. <laughs> but I know one thing. You see this God in heaven. He knows exactly what is going on. And I am very, very sure that he will not let our enemies win over us. I'm very sure of that. They will not win. Huh? Okay. Whoever this enemy is, have won. What have we not done in the past, Mama? What prayer have we not prayed? What fasting have we not done? We have prayed and cried to the same God, midnight after midnight. And he just abandoned us. He rather allowed the situation to worsen. Okay. See, I know. Eh? But I want you to understand one thing. God has his times and his ways. And I know that at the right time, he will answer us. Him. Let us lose everything to this situation, but not our faith and hope in God, please. Okay? My dear, the way I'm saying things now, faith is useless ah. now. Hope is dead. I fear for my dear, my dear brother. I fear for us. I feel. You don't have to cry now. Don't do this. You want me to start crying with you, Okay, okay, okay. Chidio. Justin. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? Sit. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Okay. It's okay. I understand you, my dear friend. There is nothing to be embarrassed about. If I wear your shoes, I will weep openly on the streets without shame. Uh, you see, we, we were just Don't to... say it. I understand. You are my childhood friend. I can read your mood without hearing a word from you. I can. Um, you see, I actually came to inform you that a while ago, I saw Adele driving into a hotel complex. And the person in the car with him, laughing so happily, struck me to my bone marrows. Who is the person? Daughter of Mazi Savagely took. I just stopped your evil from claiming my husband, the only man I love. What, is that? what are you talking about? What are you saying? I am talking about the imminent death of a vile animal like you. I just gave you a powerful letter injection. <laughs>
You evil man. I will not undo the things you did because I stand a very big chance to gain from it today. Now that I am Adele's lawfully wedded wife, but I will never have you leave to enjoy any of it because of your wicked action. I will never, never so die. Now I am locking the gates on my way out and you will walk in here like the animal that you are let me go hook up with the taxi that brought me to the village i am returning to the city to enjoy my marriage with adele old fool you want to get the <laughs> I know this must have come from our pen of all ideas. Am I wrong? Mom, you are right, but he, Daddy also uh, uh, approve it. Even at a Ruby and Erika. Yes, we all did approve it because we want to put a smile on your face. So the three of us put it together. Yes. <coughs> okay. <coughs> you also joined in preparing this. <laughs> <laughs> like it. I love it. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you all so much. And I love you all. Oh, really? I appreciate the love and thoughts that went behind us. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> that is talking to you. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm sorry. You, I'm glad you do. You see, uh, you're so special to the kids and I. We may not have the money to prepare a cake and um, prepare a huge birthday party for you. Is this all you have to celebrate your special? I love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm rushing for her. <laughs> um, I go love her. Where is the empty? Okay, so it's time to cut the cake. Are we going to cut the, the cake? In the name of love or in the name of Jesus? Jesus. 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 Yeah. Most powerful name. Yes. All right. So when I say J, J. J. E E S S Supernatural you You Wonderful Jesus Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you Bring soup Bring water to wash up Soup and water to wash up Mommy, 
I made it to Canada. Canada? I'm going to Canada, mommy. Is he okay? Come. 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 Are you okay? I'm okay, mama. Are you sure you didn't see from your father's bottle of shinats? Ah. Come here, come here, Lisa. So bend your head. Mommy. It smells like a whole field. So what what is what's the problem? I mean, it's embarrassing me in public now. Uh-uh. Come -uh. see. Take a look at this. What is it? Take a look at this first. What is this thing now? Tell me, I don't even have this time to. I need mommy. to. The Canadian University mm. that I recently applied to for scholarship mm. Mm. has approved my application. Mommy, I'm going hey! to Canada. Hey! <laughs> hey! 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 I want to congratulate you once again on the scholarship offer from Canada. I wish I could uh, do more than just to congratulate you. I wish I could say something different than what I'm about to say now. What happened, Daddy? Poverty happened. Our condition happened. Your mother's earnings and my are below 30,000 per month and that can only cut out for our feeding, house rent and Chigoro's room's uh, school fees. That aforementioned items we can hardly afford either. But we know all that daddy. That is why I did not bother to write child since I finished my secondary school three years ago. Same goes with you, baby. Five years ago. And Chico's dream was about to write how I act. That is why for me it has been from one menial job to the other. That is why Chico's dream has been working as a sales girl for two different people for salaries that are not seem to write home about. We understand our very problematic economic situation. That is why I resorted to finding scholarship all these years, all over the world. That is why this particular breakthrough gives me special joy, Daddy. Because once I relocate to Canada, I will, I will find a part-time job and I will be sending home whatever bulk I make from the job. Mama, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. with all these things being said, you will not be going to Canada. Unless a miracle happens, you will not be going to Canada. What are you saying? You see, in our moment of excitement, your father and I did not look through the last two paragraphs of your offer letter. Take a look. Jesus, that is it, my son. That is besides the visa cost, the air spaces, and that of um, associated other uh, uh, spaces, inclusive. The mother and I are still struggling to repay the loan we took from Microfinance Bank to support our businesses after our uh, earlier capital were wiped. Uh, of because of the medical expenses due to your mother's prolonged illness last year. And as we speak, we are still trying to pay our church groups, friends and neighbors a huge amount of money for the same purpose. What are you, what are you, what are you trying to say? That? 
What are you trying to say in essence? That I should forget about my trip to Canada? My son. Hmm? It is neither your father nor me saying it. Rather our condition. Uncle huh? Adili. He's the richest man in our village. He has refused to help us in any manner. Several times that this family has gone to him for help in the past. His hostility and hatred against us is scary to say the least. <laughs> the possibility of, he, of him helping us in this situation is, is not to zero. That's why we are talking about this. I don't even know why you mentioned him. What? What, Papa? You gave up your academic ambition so that he could continue. You liquidated your entire business to send him abroad to school. You made the selfless decision of leasing all your lands and properties to put him through school all the way to his master's degree. You and Mama made huge personal sacrifices to make him the man he is today. You denied yourself everything so that you could have one thing that you didn't have. Good education. What happened after that? Nothing. He rather turned against me and my family shortly after he returned from England. Until this minute, I dearly did nothing that cost me pain and misery. At any opportunity that he gets, he abandoned me and my family. Developed and directed a bone chilling hate against us for no just cause. He threw all of us under the bus. My brother owns a multi million dollar company. He, he is living in Dublin and owns so many cars. His family is living in America. But look at where we are living. He has over 200 people working for him in his company. And he has refused as much as employing all of us, even as cleaners or good man. He doesn't call me. He doesn't pick my call by mistake. What makes you think that hoping on him on this case will not end up being a waste of time? Because this is different, Papa. This is our only chance for redemption. The only shot this family has to come out of poverty forever. Papa, even if we have to talk to the devil himself, even if we have to ask the devil in a human body for help, Papa, we will. We don't have any choice. I can't just let this go. We have to talk to Uncle Adele, please. At least we have to try. I can't let this go. Onyeka. Onyeka. <sighs> Papa. Your uncle, Adele, will not help us. Biko, Biko. Let's try. I try. Biko. Oh God, help us. We are dying in can't explain what is going on. Wow, wow. This is good. <laughs> this is nice, Onyeka. Huh? Onyeka? This is the type of things I like to see. Thank you. Thank congrats, you. congrats. Thank huh? you. Okay. Yeah. Despite everything, I'm, I'm happy for you. Yeah. I'm happy for you. So, has he gone for his visa procurement at Canadian High Commission? Uh, again, I want to thank you very much for picking uh, Onyeka's call and uh, granting his request for us to come into your house for the first time in the last two years. I thank you for agreeing to... Uh, leave this thing you're saying. My problem is which you don't answer questions straight. This thing you're saying now is, is it what I asked? Ask a very simple question. 
Has he gone for his visa procurement at Canadian High Commission? Yes or no? I said, mm, this is um, two years, three years. I'm Who's sorry. asking you this one now? I'm sorry. Um, to your question, we just received this letter yesterday uh, about the visa procurement process. Uh, my brother, you know what is involved. Uh, aside my wife and I, uh, being heavily indicted at the moment due to her prolonged illness last year. We don't even have up to 15,000 Naira in our savings. Uh, what we have will not even be enough uh, for the travel expenses through and through the Canadian High Commission. And when you came here earlier, you used the word um, blessings. Hmm? Testimony. You have testimony to share with me. This one you're saying now is it part of it? Huh? Why why are you using that? Why didn't you say that you you came here to tell me the cost upon your life? You're using style to come out now. You have this, there is a, this one, there is this one. You don't have a dime. Okay. That's the problem I have with you. Okay, okay please. I'm on my knees begging you, please. Please. Onyeka, just, just stand up and sit. You are not my problem. Your father is the main problem. He is the main reason I ignored you people for the past two years. He knows what to do to reverse that. So let him not sit here and pretend like he doesn't know what to do. He knows what to do. If he agrees to do what I ask him to do, this thing is just a ticking thing for me. I can easily call, carry my phone and call Canadian Embassy and they will do everything for you. So here's the reason. Let him do what I ask him to do. Once that is done, then all these things will be settled. He is your problem, not me. Adele, please, don't go there. I've Again. gone there already. I've gone there already. So tell your child, stop acting like everything. Tell him, you are his problem. Adele, our late parents and our ancestors are watching. Drop that outrageous. Please leave this thing you're saying or same drop which outrageous. What, what, what nonsense are you saying? So are you ready to do what I ask you to do? Yes or no? I'm not. You're not. Okay, let's go. Okay. okay. So let's go! My friend, come here. Come, come back, come back here. Oduak! Oduak, sir! Now listen. Look at me, I'm talking to you. Even in your drunk state, I don't ever, ever want to see you in this house until you have agreed to do what we said that you're going to do. Is that clear? I repeat, our late parents and our ancestors are watching you. Oh, 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 shut, shut, shut up! God is watching you. Okay, right shut, shut up. God is watching who? You think God is jobless to, 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 to watch a madman like you? I believe you heard everything I said. I don't ever want to see you in this house. Don't get out of my presence. I've read 20 people out of God is watching you. I will always love you. Where are you? Even in death, I will always hate you. Get out of my house! Don't, don't, don't touch me. Start going now. You have a Come with me. Let me ever see you here. Open this. Oh my God. Open it. Don't go in now. Stop going now. Go away. Door, sir. Don't go. If I see them here, they will be If I see them in this house, they will Consider yourself sacked. Okay, okay, sir. What are they talking about? He's talking about the impossible. What do you, what do you mean by the impossible? What, 
What do you mean by that? Onyeka, I am not in the right frame of mind to tell you anything now. Just keep quiet. Let's get home first. I can't keep quiet, Papa. For God's sake, I can't keep quiet. My future is at stake here. The fate of our family, our break from this misery and pain, they are all at stake here, Papa. Papa, Uncle Adele has promised to bankroll my trip to Canada and all that I need to secure my scholarship and settle down there. And for him to do that, all he needs is that you do something for him. What in God's name is that thing that you're ready to throw away the opportunity of a lifetime for our family that my scholarship is? Huh? <laughs> Is he demanding your life from you? Is he asking you to sacrifice one of us all? Oh, oh, what's going on? If I stop, Keke, will you be able to join me home or will you like to walk home? Oh, what's going on? Uh, Keke, please. Uh, you know that in uh, Bukba uh, I go stop for that big tree. Yes, sir. Uh, you know the street name, but I go direct you. Yeah? Papa, okay, sir. Uh, take me there. Papa! Move! Take me. Who is now? Who is this? Papa! Your love means nothing to me, Chijoke. To me, having you as a brother is an insult. Ideally, my brother looked me in the face and uttered those words. Ideally, walked me, Chijoke, out of his house. If he had refused me and the Onyek and the help who went to his house to seek like he had done in the last two years, I wouldn't be feeling this terrible. If he had done that without even removing all the nonsense inside his mouth and pour it out on me, I would feel better coming home. The young man. But I understand how central what is demanding from you is to any true Iboma father. Especially for a father that has a son like you. It's his honor, his dignity, his presence and his posterity. He will preserve it for himself and his son. He will die for it if need be. I understand your stance on Uncle Adele's demand that despite the ugly implications that it has for our family, and I support you. Daddy, you should never give in to what Uncle Adele is demanding from you. If the heavens like, let the heavens fall, but never give in. Hmm. If he doesn't, you will lose your scholarship. See, the dad I know will never be the same. If he gives in to what Uncle Adele is trying to force him to do, he will not survive the humiliation. Yes, he won't survive it. Let me ask you something. Is my scholarship worth that life? After everything that has gone through for this family and for Uncle Adele, is anything worth his life? I'm happy hearing that coming from you. You are indeed my blood. In fact, if, even if I'm to drop dead now, I would do a proud and a happy man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, how long will it take you before you lose uh, the admission? Too much. Too much time. Although a deferral or extension could be made under certain conditions. And such conditions does not include inability to raise money for the visa and transport to Canada, am I right? No, Dad. Uh, but being indisposed 
for reasons of health, natural disaster, or conflicts are the only listed conditions under such waiver could be granted. A full year deferral could be made if a candidate can prove that such conditions exist in his life or place of living. Even that the university reserves the sole right to approve or reject deferral applications. That says it all. You're not sick. Neither is there war in Nigeria nor uh, part of Nigeria. We are no victims of any known natural disaster. Or did they also include um, victims of uh, poverty and uh, human wickedness in, in the condition? Of course not, Mom. <laughs> but, but I think I can come up with a believable story. I think I can. We will not lie to secure that admission. A short, never you lie to get anything in life, no matter how badly you need it. And that includes all of you. No matter what happens, lose everything, but do not lose your integrity. Hmm. Daddy, if you ask me, I will tell you that there's nothing wrong if he lies on this issue. Yes, just small lies. Obi that's all that ah toki o me we honey. My daughter, again when people can call that problem, lie is wrong. No matter the reason anyone tells it, its gains are temporary. But you see the gains of truth. They are everlasting. In fact, they outlive the one who tells it. So, in any situation or condition, please, always stand for the truth. Please. Did you hear me? Okay, Mom. Um, let's not lose hope yet. Mm -hmm. Are you saying you can still raise the money? Yes. Um, you will prepare to Go to the village with me tomorrow morning. There is time to get our kinsmen involved. Kinsmen? For what? Wait, you, can, you want to go and apply for a loan from your kinsmen? I do not want to assess any loan from anybody. I sacrifice all for you. God has answered all our prayers. I welcome everybody. You see, due to the sensitivity of the issue we are about to look into, and uh, I also consider it a mere brotherly misunderstanding, I decided not to invite many people. Just uh, I only invited them as well to join us to deliberate on this matter. Uh, so, uh, Chijoki, you invited us here, so you have the floor. <laughs> no wonder. No wonder the meeting is being held on a weekday. Because it's only a jobless person who sits here to discuss irrelevant issues. Did you see Mazio Keke here? You can never see him here, because if you go to his shop now, he is busy. He is busy where he is now. It's only a riffraff, a jobless person that will, that will invite elders to sit and talk about irrelevant matters. That's jobless and poverty stricken bastard. That's an insult to all of us here, Adene. It's an insult. Mm. I insulted you people for saying the truth. It's so bad, bro. Hold on. I, I prepared. Adem, I already know that he's, he's ready to make problems. This is 200,000 uh, for the insults. Uh, if you call what I'm saying insults, then do, I don't have time. Whatever I want to say here, we'll go ahead and say it fast, fast, because I need to go. I can't sit here to discuss irrelevant issues with this, with this poverty-stricken madman. And I hope he will do the same. Oh. 
If I find any of his of his statement offensive, he will go inside there and bring money and drop on this table. I refuse to be provoked by you, my dear brother. I refuse. How you, pro you provoke him again? No, if you provoke, what will you do? The only thing you can do is rant and call them again. What else can you do? I don't know. Enough of this nonsense. Enough of this nonsense. How can he be shouting that you are still brother in our presence? Now remove this money from this table. As I'm removing. Can I remove this money now? Don't tell a grown-up man what to do. I don't, don't, this, don't say that. This money. Don't say that. Remove this money here. Anyway, let, this let me money. let me remove it. It's here. I apologize to us here. No, don't say that too. Adele, don't dare me. Adele, apologize for what? I said apologize for you. Apologize for what? For saying my mind. For using offensive words. Apologize to us. Oh na abiakwa o. I tell apologize to us. I tell apologize to us. Anyway, it's a must. <laughs> uh, let me just say sorry for saying sake. Oh. Let me just say sorry for saying sake. Uh, but make sure you don't waste my time. Uh, Chijoki, as I say, apologize. You have the floor. Tell everybody what you told me about this matter. Thank you, Mazi Udensi. As you and Mazi Mbazo know very well, our father died while Adele and I were in primary school. Our mother died two years later, leaving us all around orphans. I had to drop out of school in primary six so that my younger brother here could continue. Even though both of us were top of our classes academically back then, Finally, when I left for the city, there was no kind of menial job that I did not do to keep him in school and fit as well. I kept sneaking out of my master's house at any opportunity that I get to do all sorts of menial job to keep him through secondary school liquidated my business, borrowed heavily, and put off formalizing the marriage with my wife in order to send him to school and abroad. Despite my best efforts doing Ibuasa uh, here and many other menial jobs to raise money, I still could not meet up the pace of his financial demand of his schooling overseas. When he was about to be sent out of school and deported for failure of meeting up the, with the financial requirements of his schooling in the UK, I had to take the hard decision of using all our land property that our father left for us as collateral to borrow money from uh, the Maze uh, the money lender. I still use all the money to see him through to his master degree level. I did that with the mutual agreement I had with him, that when he finishes from school, get employed and start earning, the first thing he would do is to repay Mazi Enyinaya, recover our farmlands, and help me to start up the business that I liquidated for his sake. Thank goodness that he worked briefly in the United Kingdom before returning to Nigeria with a lot of money. He paid uh, Mazi Enyina, recovered our farmlands. I handed him over all the land documents to him out of trust and for security reasons. Few days after that, part of the story that both of you know of us started. What I did not tell both of you is that shortly before he got married to the late Mazenyi Nana's daughter, both of them connived and fraudulently acquired paper saying that I, Chijoke here, sold the land to the late Mazenyi Nana. And upon his return from UK, he bought the land for himself. He seized all the lands and denied me access to them. Whatever. <laughs> That's a big lie, Adele. 
I accompany Chijoke to Masi Enyinaya's place, and I witnessed both of them signing the loan agreement. Yes. And he forgot to call you when we went to repay the loan? No, why didn't he call you to be a witness? That is to show you that this madman here is lying. How can you say I, that I lied to him? You know I do not lie, you know it. I'm going to you, you know, Guinea. Pope, Pope John Paul II, you don't lie. You don't lie, all these things you formulated here is what? You know, you've been talking, I'm just looking at you. Making me look like a bad person. You trained me in school. He trained me in, in, in which university? Mm. Did you bother to ask Maze Yinaya for confirmation when he was still alive? No, I did not, but. There is no but. There is no but. Okay, You know what you're doing. You didn't ask him, but you just sit here comfortably and, and say things that you're not sure of. Okay? Are you done with your Ifo Chapi war? Are you done with your cock and boo story? God will have mercy on you. No, you need that prayer. You need to beg God. In fact, you need to soak chaplet inside water and beg God to have mercy upon your life. Beg God to change your story because the, 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 this poverty has finally affected your brain. You're just talking off points. You are the one that needs that prayer. Please, if we are done with this meeting, I have them very, very busy. In fact, people are waiting for me now. I'm not jobless like this, po this poverty he got here. I have things doing. If we are done, I have to run along. Or if he's done, let me tell you people my own side of the story. That is what I'm here for. Since he has decided to say things that never happened, I still have things to say. I'm going to if you people are ready to listen. Again, I refuse to be provoked by you, my dear brother. Uh, brothers, since then, Adile here has been harassing and intimidating me over this issue all the years. But I refuse to report this to you people. Reason is that I wanted peace to reign in my father's house. Mm. But the reason we are here today is that my son here, Onyeka, won a scholarship to study in Canada. And I don't have the money. I needed money badly to send him to Canada to secure that mission. But the money is neither here nor there. I went to a DLA here for help. He blatantly refused to help. Rather, he brought out a demeaning demands that he had been making of me over the years that I should sell this compound our father's compact ah! to him before he will be ready to help me or any member of my family in any way. Uh, what? Yeah. What? You are literally inheritance <laughs> as the person of this family. <laughs> this, is a, this is an abomination. Abomination. Oh, God, God. Arrow. Arrow. You know, there are some things someone needs to say. You people will just sit down and assimilate it and tell yourself that this is never possible. Even if I'm a drunkard, even if I'm not a true son of the soil, how can someone tell his brother, his father's first son, to sell their family's house to him? How is that possible? You know, this man, this man has a degree in line. In fact, he needs to go to local government to collect up. See the way he says it? That's the same thing I'm saying. He will cook, cook many things to make me look like a bad person. That is what he's good at. If you people are ready to hear my own side of the story, I will tell you everything. Okay? That's if you're ready to listen, though. Right. I'll tell you everything. Now, the issue of selling our family land, I will come to that one much later. You see this madman here? <laughs> huh. This glory you're seeing today is by the grace of God. Because I suffered as a man. I so, when I mean I suffered, there is no there, there are no kind of jobs I did not do to train myself in school. This man here contributed to nothing. When I mean nothing, he contributed absolutely to nothing. Me going to school from the onset, from when I went to when I learned about the admission um, uh, admission process, my friend told me. 
Even that day, I went to Cyber Cafe to fill to fill the the form, the the admission form. I begged this man here, one hundred and fifty naira and kitty to buy to buy minutes in the Cyber Cafe. He told me he doesn't have. I had to look for a way. Went to that Cyber Cafe, filled the form, and as God may have it, I got the admission. Ordinary one thousand five hundred naira for transportation to Lagos to finalize the visa. This man said he doesn't have. He was my best friend. My very good friend that I reached out to. I told him, look, I have gotten admission. What is remaining now is money to travel. Because he got me at heart. He knew how he, he rallied around to, to get the money that he gave to me that he's in, in, in traveling. He was my good friend that gave me the money for traveling to, to, to London to, for my education. And let no one ask me who that friend was, because that I will not say. This man here, he's a very useless man, and he's still useless up till now. He gambled all the money his master settled him with. Sold all our family lands to any Naya. The money he, he realized from it, he also gambled, gambled everything away. He's a chronic gambler, and he's still a chronic gambler. In fact, after this meeting, you will still see him in a push-up, playing gamble. The little money remaining was the one he used in marrying that useless Mbise woman that added no value to his life. In fact, the only contribution that that useless lazy woman made to this family is giving birth to, the, to, 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 to three refrains. He wasted his years. Now he will sit back Instead of him to think of his life, to know how he can retrace his step, he's looking for who to do it for him. Adele. Don't, don't, Adele. Interrupt, don't interrupt me. Oh. See, the one that I will not take is interrupting me. When you were cooking all kind of cock and boo story, telling all kind of lies, I did not I did not interrupt you. Please. My elders, like I was saying, this man here contributed nothing to my education. I suffered in UK. I, I did all kind of minor jobs to raise money to pay to, to pay my, my tuition fee. As a matter of fact, I run the sewage system. You? Yes! I worked in the supermarket. On what I remember in the United Kingdom to raise money for my education. And I'll do all of that, all my hard work. This man will sit here to tell me that he trained me in school. I trained myself in school. As God may have it, I graduated. Because every worker has a payday. As a matter of fact, when I, when I came back to Nigeria, mm. that was when I realized what this man did with our, our father's land. That we have no family land to our name. That he sold everything for gambling. What did I do? I had to beg my wife. I had to beg her to talk to her father. So my wife spoke to Mazen Yinnaya and Mazen Yinnaya agreed to sell those lands back to me. So Mazen Yinnaya sold all the lands back to me. When he heard about it, do you know what this madman did? He went diabolical. When I mean diabolical, it's that type that one, even if I have a, a, a little CSL 